Seeing Nero at the Xbox press conference this year is possibly the most pumped I've ever been watching E3. This rinky dink channel was started with the purpose of being critical on Ninja Theory's DMC reboot. I love that game. I love all Devil May Cry games, but they all have their turds. Let's talk Devil Breakers! Okay, I love everything I've seen of Devil Breakers. They're probably going to be great. This is theoretical navel gazing on mechanics. Devil Breakers are a perfect addition to Nero's arsenal. I love Nero's moveset. It's simple and clean, but it has a nice amount of flourish. I prefer playing as Nero in Devil May Cry 4. The only issue with Nero's arsenal is that it's limited in comparison to the variety that Dante has. Devil Breakers rectify that by adding new gameplay options for Nero. Just soak this in. Look at all the new options Nero has. It is glorious. He has new crowd control options, new mobility options, new ways to get combo crazy. On top of expanding Nero's combat options, Devil Breakers introduce resource management to Devil May Cry via their disposability. That element of having to mind your Devil Breakers adds another level of mental engagement to gameplay. It has you constantly think about how and when you implement your abilities. It adds weight to the action. I welcome Devil Breakers bringing resource management into play, but my worry is with implementation. Risk versus Reward Devil Breakers have you making impactful gameplay decisions. They have devastating ultimate attacks, but break the arm upon use, which is a cool trade-off. You can't freely switch between arms, which is a con, but it creates situations where you have to decide if you dispose of your current arm to use the next one, which may be better suited for the current situation. Now that's a compelling dilemma to have in a game. Self-destructing an arm also acts as an emergency evade. Save yourself from some damage and return some damage at the cost of an arm. Devil Breakers can break if you get hit while using them. That may sound like a con to some, but the fragility of Devil Breakers further emphasizes finesse. The player is further incentivized to not get hit in order to preserve their Devil Breaker, especially if you have your preferred breaker equipped. Devil Breakers add a lot of positives to gameplay, especially that classic risk-reward dynamic. Now the disposability of Devil Breakers, which is giving them the risk-reward aspect to it, it's also its biggest liability. Devil Breakers' disposability limits combat options and combo creativity. If you are without Devil Breakers, you still have access to Nero's base moveset. You still have everything you had in DMC4 except the Buster. It's still a damn fun moveset. Devil Breakers introduce a new suite of options for Nero. But because they're disposable, because you can lose them, and because you cannot freely switch between them at your discretion, you do not have access to Nero's full toolset at all times. It's limiting. Imagine the combo potential if Nero had access to all his moves at all times. If you could freely switch between Devil Breakers the same way Dante can switch between weapons and styles in an instant. Imagine if DMC4 Dante was cut off from one of his styles until you picked an item off the ground. That would suck! And that's kind of what's happening with Disposable Devil Breakers, but on a less drastic scale. Variety is the spice of life. Why would you want to limit that spice? Looking at bullet points, Devil Breakers are a net positive, but the con is kind of a big bullet. Let me state this again. This worry is hypothetical, theoretical. I'm sure the game will be fine since it's being balanced with this system in mind, and it will dole out Devil Breakers at a good rate. But it is a bit immersion breaking to have a bunch of custom made robot arms lying around the environment. There's a possible solution to this non issue. Having Devil Breakers work on a cooldown instead of relying on environmental pickups. By having it on a cooldown, you can still maintain the risk and reward element while still having access to Nero's complete moveset. By having the cooldown time substantially long, you still have the impact of making the hard choice of breaking an arm. But it's not completely cut off from you if you don't find that arm lying around. And what if the Devil Breaker cooldown was tied to style ranking? The higher your style in combat, the faster the cooldown goes, which rewards skilled play by having more available access to all of Nero's tools. It's a viable idea. I have minor reservations about how Devil Breakers are being implemented, but I have faith that Itsuno and his team know a hell of a lot more than me. 
I've only been thinking about this for weeks. They've been thinking about this for years. Oof. I am pumped for Devil May Cry 5, and you should be too. And hey, thanks for watching. And thanks to itsuno san and his team for bringing back this wonderful franchise, and thanks to Capcom for having faith that Devil May Cry can sell in this day and age. I love you, Nero! DMC is back!